calculated columns and calculated fields in the data model. Yeah, you really need to kind of get this. Let me draw a little box up here. And that's supposed to represent a table. And we have a number of rows coming across. There you go. I don't need many. So I've got a couple rows and I separate those on out. So now I've got those into columns. All right. <clears throat> so the concept of a calculated column was being, and I go in and I add a column right in here, and now I'm going to produce a calculation based on the values in that row. So I could come through here and create this calculated column, and I would say in that calculated column, flip on down and add this one, and add that, you know, whatever, and that gives me this calculated column. It's called a calculated column now because it can iterate through every row that's in the table and always add these two cells. This is very similar uh, to a standard Excel, the way it works. Now, a calculated field is going to work like this. You see, if we drop on down and say we're down here in the, in the uh, uh, below, let me pause a second, James. Okay, I hope we change colors. If I come down here like that, right, and I would say I would have the sum as I drop down like this, the way it works is I cannot just sum these on up. Instead, I have to create a calculated field. In previous iterations of the product, we called this a calculated measure, which I prefer, doesn't matter, and so now we call it a calculated field. So what we do instead in the calculated field, that's used at the aggregate level. And we come through here and we enter a DAX expression in here to come and to calculate things up. I have an example on the PowerPoint. Let me clear this up a little bit. Okay, so come back and think about this calculated field. And uh, the, I have this example right there. All right. Calculated fields, a DAX expression. It's not computed on a row-by-row -row basis, as I said earlier. It is not. Instead, it's computed at the aggregate level. A calculated field is evaluated in the context of the cell of the pivot table, where otherwise the calculated column we talked about earlier is computed on the row level of the pivot table. Remember, we came on across with the calculated column. All right. If you look at the formula that I drew up in here, I have the name of the calculated field, commission, and then I have a colon, equals, and I call a function, uh, sum. And then I have the name of the table, which is, in this case, order details, and then the name of the column that I want to use, unit price. Then I have some kind of an operator, in this case, multiplication, uh, times 0.03. So what we're going to do is we're going to sum up the unit price column from the orders detail so we're moving up and down in uh, unit price of that order's details table. And then we multiply it uh, times 0.3, and that's the commission. Got it? That's why it's a calculated field measure instead of a calculated column.